2024 Ram Rampage is a small truck for Brazil and maybe the US. Several clues suggest Ram's new little unibody pickup could potentially join its bigger siblings in the States. The 2024 Ram Rampage has debuted in Brazil, and clues such as a report by the Brazilian website, Auto Segredos, suggest the new small truck is coming to the States. The Rampage is offered in Laramie, RT, and Rebel trims, with standard all-wheel drive and the brand's Hurricane Turbo 4. A diesel four-cylinder is also available in Brazil. The Rampage isn't confirmed for the US, but it was designed in collaboration with Stellantis North American Arm and has an American flag motif in the taillights. Ram has sat on the sidelines while little trucks have made a comeback. The pickup-centric brand hasn't offered anything smaller than the half-ton 1500 model in the US since the mid-sized Dakota was dropped after 2011. Meanwhile, Ford has released the unibody Maverick to great success, and even Hyundai has entered the fray with the Santa Cruz. With the 2023 Ram Rampage launching in Brazil, there are clues the new small truck could come to our shores and help the brand cash in on an untapped segment. Back in March, the Brazilian automotive website, Auto Segredos, reported that Antonio Filosa, president of Stellantis South America, told a group of reporters a version of the Ram 1200, aka the Rampage, would be sold in the US to compete with the Ford Maverick. The report also references plans for a smaller body on frame truck, which may or may not have something to do with the long rumored Dakota revival. Keep in mind this is all speculation right now, but it's worth considering nonetheless. The Brazilian Rampage, it's possible the Rampage that's set to go on sale in Brazil provides a preview of a potential US version. The unibody truck measures approximately 198.0 inches long, 74.3 inches wide, and 70.1 inches tall. That makes the Ram roughly 1.7 inches shorter from stem to stern but about 1.5 inches taller than the Maverick. The Rampage's 117.9-inch wheelbase is also more than 3 inches shorter. The truck has a crew cab body style, but there aren't any specifics on bed length. It does have a power opening tailgate, though. Ram's mini truck resembles its bigger siblings, specifically up front where the grille shape and headlights have a clear visual connection to the larger 1500, 2500, and 3500 models. Although it's the first Ram vehicle designed and developed in Brazil, North American designers also collaborated on the styling. That along with the US flag motif and the taillights are a couple of hints about the Rampage possibly making it to our shores. Expected to be built on a stretched version of Stellantis' small wide platform that also underpins the Alfa Romeo Tonale, the Dodge Hornet, and the Jeep Compass SUVs, the Rampage's suspension features McPherson struts up front and a multi-link rear setup. The truck's max payload is approximately 2,238 pounds, however, that's the rating for the 170-horsepower diesel 2.0-liter four-cylinder powertrain that likely won't be offered on our shores. Instead, the US Rampage would likely offer the new Hurricane 2.0-liter turbo 4, the Brazilian version claims a 1,653 pound max payload. Pairing with standard all-wheel drive and a 9-speed automatic transmission, it's the same engine found in the Hornet, which makes 268 horses and 295 pound-feet of torque. Perhaps Ram will also offer the truck with the 288 horsepower plug-in hybrid powertrain that's reserved for the sport-tuned Hornet RT. 3 Rampage flavors the Brazilian Rampage is available in three trim levels, Laramie, RT, and Rebel. The trio boasts desirable features such as a 10.3-inch digital gauge cluster and a 12.3-inch Uconnect touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Along with six USB outlets, three of which are USB-C ports, a cooled wireless charging pad is on the menu. The optional Elite package adds a 10-speaker Harman slash Kardon stereo, a 12-way power-adjustable front passenger seat, and ambient interior lighting. 
The Rampage's roster of driver assists includes obligatory tech such as automated emergency braking as well as adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and lane keeping assist. Among the three Rampage trim levels mentioned in the Brazilian press release, the RT version, pictured at the top of this story, has the most details. Along with a specially tuned sport drive mode, its dual exhaust system is said to be louder than the other models, and the sprint to 62 miles per hour is claimed to be a couple tenths quicker too. The Ram Rampage RT also has a 0.4 inch lower suspension with firmer springs and dampers. Its outward appearance is highlighted by black 19 inch wheels, more body color trim, hood stripes, and decals on the bedsides. Inside, there are exclusive faux suede surfaces and red accent stitching. The Rampage's Laramie trim has 18 inch wheels and the most chrome exterior trim of the bunch. The interior is covered in brown leather, whereas the more rugged Rebel variant has black leather. The Rebel also features 18 inch wheels mounted on all terrain tires and presumably other off road oriented hardware that's not mentioned. While orders for the 2024 Ram Rampage open tomorrow in Brazil, there's no telling when or if a similar version will be sold in the US for now. We'll just have to wait and see whether the Rampage is Ram's answer to the Ford Maverick and other little trucks sold here or if there's another pickup plan for the brand to get off the sidelines and into the game.